I get it. The pain is unbearable. You keep playing it back in your head over and over and over. You keep trying to see where you went wrong. The situation is on repeat. People are going to talk anyway. So you may as well do what makes you happy. And now some people are going to call you a loser. Some people are going to make fun of you for failing. Some people are going to count you out. Say you will never amount to anything. Call you weak. What you going to do? Are you going to prove them right? Or are you going to prove them wrong? Let them think you're weak. Stop going back and forth with people who don't deserve your time or your attention. If you have been announcing your plans, do me a favor. Stop talking and start showing. No need for you to say what you're going to do. Just do it. I learned the hard way that everyone who is around me is not for me because everyone doesn't want the best for me. And so I had to learn to keep things to myself until I have already done the work. Are you going to show them that failure doesn't define who you are? Are you going to show them that failure is a necessary lesson on the path to success? Are you going to show them that you're a beast in this game? What you going to do? You got to get hungry. You got to get ready. It's time to get to work and show them all. Show them you're a different animal. Let them talk. When you're on a mission, you don't have time to be fighting meaningless battles. You have to be focused. You have to be intentional. And you can't allow the noise outside to get to you. I get it. You did everything in your power and you still came up short. And you feel like you can't take the pain anymore. You did everything you could and you still failed. You didn't win. But that's okay. It's okay you didn't walk away with the trophy. It's okay that you didn't walk away with your head held high. I get it. It happens. That's life. What do you want to be remembered for? It's time to get to work. So take a moment and take note of who and what you've been giving your energy to. Everything you do should be on purpose and aligned with your life's goals. It's your mindset that will get you to the top, but your mindset can also keep you in a cycle of starting but never finishing. If you're not careful, you will find yourself talking, planning, and analyzing, but never executing. It's time to get back in the game. Pick your head up. Get up! Let them talk. Let them think you're weak. Let them think you'll never succeed. Their thoughts do not define you. That failure doesn't define you. Your work ethic does. Your drive does. Your tenacity does. Your relentlessness does. Winners are action takers. Winners take a hit and get back up. You don't have to know exactly how you're going to get what you want. You just have to have an inner knowing that you're going to do it, that you're going to make it, that you're going to cross the finish line. 
So stop talking about who you want to become and become that person now. Do you realize that you can step into your future self right now? You don't have to procrastinate. You don't have to wait until you feel like everything is lining up perfectly. Growth is supposed to be uncomfortable. So stop looking for comfort. Stand up. I know it's scary. I know it's intimidating. I know it's hard, but it's time. It's time to level up. It's time to choose to be great. Time to choose to be better. Let's go, it's time to win. I can recall saying time after time, why is everything so hard for me? From the outside looking in, it looked like everyone else was winning with ease. But I was bruised, I was broken, I was burned out. But I had it all wrong. I made my journey difficult because without even realizing it, I expected my journey to be difficult. In fact, when something came easy for me, I was nervous. I was nervous because I was not accustomed to winning so easily. I was accustomed to struggling. I was accustomed to being stressed out. And I'm not saying that you won't hit some difficult moments, but I am saying that you shouldn't commit to having a difficult life. You have to condition your mind to expect your situation to get better. And you have to remind yourself that those who are winning are no different from you. Those who win, those who go hard, those who crush their goals have no problem focusing on themselves and what they want. Many of us have been conditioned to put ourselves last. Many of us have been taught that it's our duty to make everyone around us happy. And what happens is you get so wrapped up in trying to make everyone around you happy and comfortable that you end up losing yourself. You end up losing your vision. You lose your drive. You lose your why. And guess what? That is not fair to you. You deserve to set aside time for yourself. You deserve to be able to say no and not feel guilty about it. You deserve to be selfish sometimes. This is the thing. People will sing your praises until you tell them no. Don't lose yourself trying to be who everyone else wants you to be. Don't lose your focus. Don't stop going hard just because people have something to say about it. If you continue to put yourself on the back burner, you will have to deal with the consequences of that decision. Don't keep saying you want something, but then when it's time to go after it, you've got excuse after excuse. If you want it, you have to go after it with all you've got. Your job is to show up, put in the work, and let your results speak for you. Less talking, more results.